What's up guys and welcome back to Wall Street Millennial. On this channel, we cover everything related to stocks and investing. If you think the days of Ponzi schemes are over and such dumb and blatant fraud is a thing of the past, then you are sadly mistaken. Ponzi schemes are uncovered all the time even in the US. Most are not as big or widespread as Bernie Madoff's $65 billion scheme, but they have evolved to target smaller investors investing tens of thousands of dollars each. Especially with the rise in hype around blockchain, artificial intelligence, and quantum computing, fraudsters have used these buzzwords to entice investors. Many offer outlandish returns and usually emphasize that their strategy has extremely low or no risk. Many times, they also promote their investment services aggressively, using social media or even appearing on television to talk about the returns that they promise. Today, we're going to talk about one of the most recent such Ponzi schemes, uncovered by the SEC. This one pulled out all the stops, hitting on all the soft spots of unsophisticated investors to swindle tens of millions of dollars from hundreds of individuals. In May of 2018, a woman in Las Vegas named Joy Kovar formed a company called Profit Connect Wealth Services. The company named herself as President, Treasurer, Secretary, and Director. A year later, she brought her son, Brent Kovar, on board to take the role of Director. In the name of the company, she opened a total of eight different bank accounts at multiple different banks. Joy is aged 86. Her son, Brent, is aged 54 and also a resident of Las Vegas. Their company, Profit Connect, offered investment management services to small-time investors. The claims they made as to the investment strategy run by the company and the resulting return and risk profiles are truly outrageous. Profit Connect claimed to use a proprietary artificial intelligence system running on a supercomputer to achieve higher than average returns without the risk exposure to the current stock market. The markets that they claim to trade include foreign exchange, stocks, and cryptocurrencies. By having multiple streams of revenue, this helped diversify the company's main source of profits, Bitcoin mining. They advertised to investors their primary product offering, which was a seat at their supercomputer AI engine. They called this the Wealth Builder Supercomputer Seat APR account. Investors could open an account with the company and thereby purchase a seat at the supercomputer, which entitled them to an amount of cycle time on the supercomputer system. When an investor opened an account at Profit Connect's Wealth Builder program, they paid an upfront lump sum amount. Then they were promised a fixed annual return between 20 and 30%. Investors could also choose to make regular monthly deposits where the guaranteed returns range from 15 to 20%. They even offered a Wealth Builder youth account that targeted parents, grandparents, family, and friends who want to give an investment as a gift to a child. This plan guaranteed a return of 20%. All of the Wealth Builder programs promise returns that are, quote, fixed and locked in, unquote. Profit Connect says that the returns of their products are not affected by the stock markets, foreign exchange currency markets, or asset markets. Because they use multiple streams of revenue, even if one income area experiences a slowdown, then the other profit streams would make up the difference somehow. In other words, the company promised investors exactly zero risk. They portrayed themselves as being like a savings account, paying a set APR with no risk, with the only difference being that their interest rate was between 15 and 30 percent. When Profit Connect puts their logo on a Wealth Builder product, they certify that you'll receive an industry leading fixed APR return that's both FDIC and NCUA insured and a peace of mind money back guarantee. They flaunted their supercomputer system as the engine behind the risk free, outsized returns. They said that their Wealth Builder accounts are not affected by market volatility because the supercomputer system automatically guides the use of Profit Connect's internal funds. The positions the supercomputer takes on can be long or short positions in foreign currency, stocks, blockchain calculations, venture capital, and even real estate, according to the company. In this way, they use the allure of an advanced technology to generate credibility for their investment strategy. But now, there's alternatives. The same disruptive technologies that the major financial institutions have been using themselves is now available for the little guy like you and I, and it's time for us to disrupt the old banking model. Disruption in the form of blockchain, artificial intelligence, supercomputing, and soon to be quantum computing. And now, all of these very disruptive cutting edge technologies are harnessed together by Profit Connect to make available respectable offerings to you and I. There's no comparison between the products the banks offer and what Profit Connect offers. Don't let these numbers freak you out. 
I know they seem impossible, 20, 30% APR. But wasn't it also deemed impossible for a man to run a mile in under four minutes before 1954? Then, of course, Roger Bannister came along on the scene, and he did it. And now high school kids do a sub-four-minute mile. So not so impossible after all. Double-digit predictable APRs are now possible with a Profit Connect Wealth Builder account purchase. That's also FDIC and NCUA insured with zero fees. They also advertise with their offerings a money-back guarantee. Investors could supposedly withdraw their money in any quarter they wanted, backed by the fact that the company's internal financial reserves were significantly higher than all of the seat purchasers' deposits combined. Additionally, all of the investors' funds are invested in the supercomputer's algorithms, and the profits then deposited into an FDIC, NCUA-insured business bank account at Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, or Navy Federal Credit Union. Their website has many references to being FDIC-insured, even though in reality, the only thing that is FDIC-insured is a bank account used by the company. The investment strategy and the wealth builder seats sold by Profit Connect were definitely not insured by anything. In fact, Profit Connect's bank accounts at Navy Federal and Chase never even held any investor funds, and Wells Fargo has never even seen a registered account for Profit Connect. That's right. Your Profit Connect Wealth Builder purchase is FDIC and NCUA insured. Both uh, because of Profit Connect's banking relationships, they ensure that your principal and monthly APR return are covered by FDIC and NCUA insurance within 90 days of your deposited funds being received and put into motion. In order to attract customers, Profit Connect used extensive marketing. A central part of their marketing strategy was the use of paid promoters who used social media to solicit investors. Promoters were paid up to 20% for each referral, which could go up based on things like total number of referrals in a month. Overall, from 2018 through 2021, Profit Connect paid out $3 million to promoters. That accounts for more than a quarter of the total funds from investors that Profit Connect ever received. The promoters often lied and deceived in their efforts to convert consumers. One promoter claimed that Profit Connect had surpassed $1 billion in sales in 27 months, an outright falsehood. Another promoter touted Profit Connect moving into a new 27,000 square foot data center. That was either false or misleading, because Profit Connect in reality did not even have use for a data center, and in fact did not have any high performance computing capabilities whatsoever. Here's Profit Connect trying to describe their own data center. And here is where the real magic happens, the data center. That tube you see circled in red in the sales office on the left, uh, left hand side of the screen represents a miniature of one of the 250 20-foot tubes that comprise a 27,000 square foot data center. Vegas was strategically chosen to be ground zero for Profit Connect because since the 90s, millions of dollars have been invested to connect fiber optic providers to a single center in the Southwest Valley. And in the process, made Las Vegas one of the most connected places in the country. Remember, success loves speed. The working machine circled in red is a smaller version of what's housed in the data center. This one miniature machine can generate over $400,000 in profits per year to cover all operating expenses for the sales office. Rent, utilities, staff, etc. Each future office will be self-funded just like this one, and that's why you don't get charged fees like other accounts. Anyone can see that the cylindrical tube that they claim to be one of their high-tech supercomputers is nothing more than a decorative pillar at a mall. You can even see a mannequin in the background behind the window of a clothing store. Investors might be surprised to hear that their brand new 27,000 square foot data center is located in the hallway of a shopping mall. Who knows what this is, but it's definitely not a quantum computer generating $400,000 of profit per year. Profit Connect's promotional campaigns, through its promoters and through its own marketing, was shameless. They even portrayed themselves as a kind of generous disruptor. They claimed to be taking back the industry profits that today's banking institutions keep for themselves, and giving them back to investors. And here's what the old mighty banking gods are currently willing to offer us today. And of course, anything juicy over 1.5% usually comes with a ton of strings. You'd think that with what the banks are willing to offer us today, that the gross domestic product had somehow plummeted over the years. But as you can see, it hasn't. Or maybe that the money in circulation has diminished, but that's not true either. The truth is, 
Banks leverage our money on deposit every single day and loan it out or invest it at a 10 to one ratio. They're a huge trader in foreign currency markets and they've invested in the latest technologies like AI and supercomputing to earn enormous returns on our deposits. Don't believe me? Whose name happens to be on the tallest buildings in almost every major city in America? Banks, right? What about JP Morgan Chase? 2019, just last year, $36.4 billion in profit. Wells Fargo, $4.6 billion in profit last year. And what about good old Bank of America? $27.4 billion in profits just last year. And trust me when I say these types of profits don't come from the monthly maintenance and overdraft fees that you and I get charged for, do they? Banks make huge profits with our deposited money and offer us interest that amounts to dust in return. But then where did all of those millions of dollars of investor money go? $3 million went to paying promoters. Much of the rest of it was withdrawn into the personal accounts of Joy Kovar, or spent by Brent Kovar. A million dollars was withdrawn and given to various individuals associated with Profit Connect. $1.7 million was spent by Joy Kovar on credit card purchases of clothes, a new car, and other spending. From just April to June of 2021, Joy also transferred more than a million dollars from Profit Connect's bank account to her own personal account. Brent Kovar spent $250,000 of investor money on things like professional photography and clothing, and about half a million dollars towards a new luxury house. Finally, $1.6 million was spent by credit cards in the name of Profit Connect. These purchases included $350,000 assigned to Brent Kovar for things like restaurants and Amazon purchases. On a single day in April of 2021, Brent spent over $23,000 at Costco using Profit Connect investor money. All in all, the majority of the $12 million raised from investors was spent for Joy and Brent's personal use or on promoters who brought in the investors in the first place. In July of 2021, the SEC shut down this Ponzi scheme and froze what little assets remained within the operation. The director of the SEC's Los Angeles office said that this case underscores that investors should be wary of anyone offering double-digit returns with no risk. At a hearing scheduled for July 26th, a court will decide what will happen with Joy and Brent Kovar. Their three-year campaign to scam hundreds of investors has finally come to an end. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. If you enjoyed the content, make sure to smash the like button and subscribe for future uploads. Also, leave a comment saying how you would detect that this operation was a sham. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.